Well, Masha's here now. Wow. Extraordinary achievement. Absolutely incredible. When did you get back? Uh, just a couple of weeks ago. I know you recovered. Are you OK? Yes, I am back in my life and back <laughs> taking care of kids. <laughs> yeah, because you broke your wrist at one point. That's right, yes. At the end of December, kind of at the onset of my journey, I was ice climbing and coming down and grabbed a dry branch and it broke. And here I was in an Italian hospital on a gurney crying, crying my eyes out, thinking, what am I going to do? But, but you just kept going. Yeah, because I remembered, you know, the next challenge was Aconcagua, and I remembered wounded warriors going up. I climbed that mountain before, and I thought, well, if those guys can do it, yeah. I can certainly do it. Why was it so important for you to do this challenge in particular? Well, I was never athletic. Um, <laughs> I got into, I know it sounds, uh, sounds strange, but I got into climbing as an adventure. That's what I right. fell in love with in my 30s. And uh, <gasps> the very in notion... In In my started. 30s, yeah. Oh. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the notion that I can take on an endurance challenge, mm. I can put, if I can put my mind to that, if I can right. tap in my um, uh, mental endurance, what was amazing. And I thought that that would be inspirational for, for girls. No, very much so, which is absolutely fantastic. That's the thing you do inspire other people, and especially young girls, because do you think, I mean, you're fit, obviously you have to be fit in order to do this, but it's what's going on in your head. Sure, and I, I've, become, I've become fit, right? And uh, the very fact that the girls in this country, 40% of them think that they cannot take on risk, the recent study shows, mm. that's, uh, to me, a, a tragedy, and a tragedy that we can address through tapping through uh, the outdoors adventures. No, absolutely. And people never ask men the question of, oh, you know, how did you feel about leaving your children behind? Um, but, you know, I think it doesn't matter whether you're a mother or a father, it's tough. It's going to be tough leaving them behind, isn't it? But they did a lovely thing. They, they drew on all of your equipment, didn't that's they? That's right. That's they right. drew on your boots. That's, that's right. Well. And what I'm most proud of that my, my daughter wrote, and I found that sort of on Climbing Denali, I love you, Mommy, because you're strong. And I thought, oh. you know what? I've ch I have achieved that's something. That's a new ice pick. In, uh, in, I love in that. my, uh, my uh, parenting, you know, we, we want um, our girls to see brave as beautiful. And I thought, yeah. if my daughter, unprompted, found that adjective to describe me, isn't that amazing? She says you're strong. <laughs> and, and, and the kids as well, I mean, they, you know, kids follow by example, and if they see you doing all these amazing things, they'll just think that's quite normal, really. That's what mums do. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very fortunate. My kids are six and eight, and they're still in that age where you can capture the imagination yes, through adventure. Yes. And in a way, they came on this virtual journey with me, and they're now experts on polar climbs oh, and, uh, um, you wonderful. know, Everest base, base camp rescue, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and if you can capture... Uh, then through this and take them yeah. then on, on the outdoor uh, outings, um, they are going to be fit for life. But to do something like Everest, for goodness sake, trekking to the South Pole, I mean, was there any time you thought to yourself, I'm not sure I can do this, and if so, what kept you going? Sure, so Everest, you climb through doing a, a, a number of acclimatizations, and yeah. my first one was fabulous. I was much faster than, uh, than a lot of people, and I had this uh, sort of incredible uh, confidence boost. But in the second one, I was stuck in Kumbo Icefall um, because the ladder has uh, broken, and we were stuck at, f at four in the morning for four hours. I got really cold, and I experienced this horrible uh, slump in energy. Mm. And that felt dreadful, feeling that, you know, I'm, I'm not sure I can do it, uh, that encounter with fragility, because, mm. you know, you know you need to be strong. And, you know, being able, actually, I had to release that stress through actually crying and talking to my husband, saying, what do I do? And he said, right. it's OK. Good night, sleep will help. And was he always on the end of the phone? The, uh, yes, absolutely. I had yeah. this amazing support base, base at home. Fantastic. And uh, someone who was not there, who was not a part of that, that anxiety, was really, really helpful. Oh, no, it must be. He must be so proud of you as well. I mean, is it, is, is he always, I don't think you could do what you do without having his support, I would have thought. Absolutely. And you, you have to have a partner in life who can support you on, on the journey that is important for you. Mm. And he was there and he was a rock. So the aim now, you're going to inspire more women to follow you, young girls to follow, particularly, to follow Absolutely. what you I'm, do. I'm setting up a charitable program called Great and Rock, and it will be aiming at uh, helping girls achieve their uh, breakthrough in mental endurance, building up their grit uh, through outdoors. And I think that that's an amazing way for teenage girls um, to uh, be able to be up for it, to dare, um, to say, I'm, I, I can do anything in life. Oh, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so, so much for coming in. Good luck with everything you do. Keep in touch with us, because that is an amazing charity. And that really, I mean, people talk about inspirational. You truly are. Thank you, Thank you very Thanks much. For having me. Thank you.